Sir. Yeah, what is series combination? The type of configurations we have seen now. You see, this uh, series combination, this is series combination generally we have seen. Okay, what the points? This type yes, of combinations. Yes, sir. yes, we are going to get a relation about that combination. Effective combination relation we are going to get. Okay, effect of that combination. Yes, yeah, let us see here. Yeah, let us take a. Spring one, Achha. spring one it is, okay, spring one, no, no. next is spring two. They are connected with a block. K1 and K2. Now, the condition here is instead of using these two springs, instead of using these two springs, we are supposed to use only one spring. Means, you observe carefully, my dear children. I apply a force F like this. For this F force, how these two springs combinedly respond? Yes, clear. How this block responds? No, no, you see, for this force F, this block will respond or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If one force yes. block respond out on the other, how not? Yes, sir. Yes, block responds. Means block will displace, block will displace like this. Okay? block will displace like this okay clear some x naught also okay here yes, here instead of using these two springs i want to use only one spring such that such that i want to use only one spring that is a special spring. Okay, I want to use I want to use only one spring. Same block. Same block M none. Okay. M. Yeah. Same force F is applied. Block is same and same force is applied. Here, how this block is responding to this to, to this force? It is getting displaced by X naught. Uh, Here also, it should get it should give same response. It should give same response. No, no. You see, for this force, how this block M is giving response means it is getting displaced by X naught. Yes, clear. Here also. In connection with single spring also, okay, this block should respond to the same force in the same manner. How these two springs together, how they are responding, the same spring, a single spring should respond. What the point? Yes, Very to understand. Okay. You see, same block, yes, same force. Yes, same blocks, same block, same force. So for the given block, for the same blocks, in, in two cases, blocks are same. Okay, in the two cases blocks are same and force also same. Here the difference is two springs are there. Here one spring is there. Clear. In connection with these two springs, 
how this block is respond to responding to this force means it is getting displaced by yes x naught in the same way in the same way yes this block in connection with a single spring it should give same response to the given force means it should get displaced by x naught you are able to understand my dear yes sir that is sir so i call this as k series ks now my dear it is it is getting displaced by x naught means here in the spring x1 elongation will be there x1 elongation in this x2 elongation here here in the spring how much elongation can you say how much how much elongation block is getting displaced by x naught means what how much x naught elongation block displaces by x naught block displaces by x naught means this is what elongation x naught along yeah got the point my dear yes sir and it is in equilibrium the condition is equilibrium in both the cases equilibrium you see my dear here all of you uh if you observe carefully this uh, is a massless spring these are massless springs you see massless spring means we can consider we can consider we can consider these two springs the spring force in the two springs will be same yes fruit you see nana oka string undi massless string lo throughout the string the tension will be same or not yes or no yes sir yes sir there the string is there the string is massless there the string is massless so throughout the string the tension remains same okay here also throughout this springs combination what happens spring force remains same fs and f for the point yes sir yes sir are you sure yes sir yes sir what the point hmm huh? enana you are able to understand my dear yes sir yes sir yes. so my dear children i am taking this as left side force as spring force fs this fs is equals to k1 x1 is equals k2 x2 you will accept or not yes sir yes yes sir and yes, this sir. f is equals to fs because equilibrium because equilibrium equilibrium are you sure sir sir here also fs here also f is equals to fs okay but here what is this uh, what is this uh, a physical fs here what is fs here k s x not yes or no yes sir yes sir it's not right or wrong right sir yes sir what the point yes sir right sir now my dear children here also f is equal to f yes, fs is equal to k1 x1 is equal to k2 x2 okay my dear all of yes, you sir. f is equal to yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes sir yes sir now my dear children from these two relations relation 1 and relation 2 what we are going to have propulsion switch on your video yes what we are going to have what we are going to have Sir, k1 x1 equals to k2 equals yeah. to ks x0. Yeah, you say, my dear, ks x0 is equals to uh, k1 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 x1 x1 equals to k2 equals to k2 x2. Yeah, any uh, k1 x1 is equals to k. Yeah. 
What is this? What is this x not? What is this x not? What is this x not? This x not is nothing but here x one plus x one plus x one plus x two. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Yes. 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 So this x not is equals x one plus x two. My dear, you are able to understand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, my dear children, I need a relation between K S, K one and K two. I need a relation. This is my target actually here. I need a relation between K S, K one and K two. Nihal, switch on your video. Yes. You see how we can write X not as. How we can write x x not as x one plus x two k one x one upon k s can I write from these two k one x one by yes or no yes sir are you sure yes sir yes sir no you see better I'm right or wrong right sir. Yes. Right. X one I am keeping as it is. Why I am keeping X one as it is means I want to introduce total X one terms. I want to get can. I want to cancel X one. What is X two here? K one X one by K one X one by K two. K two sir. Yeah. What is? Yes sir. So from this we can write it as here. X one gets cancelled or not? Yes, sir. Yeah. What yes, what we will get? Yes, sir. K one by K S is equal. Sir. Ah. Uh, one plus K one by K two. X one plus. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. So dividing, yes, sir. dividing with K one on both sides. What we get? K one by K S into K divided by K one is equals one by K one plus K one by K two into K one. K two into K one. So one by K S is equals one by K one plus one by K two. So this is the relation, my dear children. This is the relation actually what we are expecting. Okay. Yes, sir. Means why we should find this relation. You should question yourself. Actually, relation. Why we should find? Why there is a need to find this relation? Means, no, no. In the question, he will give two springs. He will say k1 as 10, k2 as 20. Instead of using two springs, we should use only single spring in that mechanical system. At that time, yes, replacing two springs with single spring means how we can replace. Yes, if we replace with a single spring, we should know the spring constant of that spring or not. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. How we get that spring constant means? How we get that spring constant means? You substitute in place of k1 10 value, in place of k2 20. What value you'll get? 1 by 10 plus 1 upon 20. How much? How much? How much you'll get? 1 by 10 plus 1 upon 20. Chappan na na na. Say na na. One by ten plus one upon twenty. Twenty yeah, upon three now. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Yes. Case value twenty upon three. Very simple. Calculation part here. One by K S is equals to one by ten plus one by twenty. I give one upon twenty. अरे यार इसको कैसे लिखना? One upon twenty plus one by twenty. Three upon twenty. रेसिप्रोकेट करना क्या इसका निकलते यार ट्वेंटी बाय केस इज़ गोस ट्वेंटी बाय तो न्यूटन पर मीटर मींस इंस्टेड ऑफ़ यूजिंग दिस टू स्प्रिंग्स टुगेदर यस टेन न्यूटन पर मीटर के तू ट्वेंटी न्यूटन पर मीटर यू कैन यूज़ ए सिंगल स्प्रिंग ऑफ़ अ ट्वेंटी बाय थ्री न्यूटन पर मीटर You are able to understand, my dear children. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of you. Yes, sir. The issue is simple or complicated? Yes, sir. Simple, sir. Simple. Simple. Yes, sir. Means, means we want to reduce the complexity of the mechanical system. Yes. Suppose in that question, ten springs are there. Better to reduce it to two or three springs. Then we can solve the problem easily, na? Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. 
yes so that's why that's why we use this series combination yes come on you will make a note of it yes sir, uh, yes, sir. 